All right, take two. Let's see if I can get this right this time. What's up, guys? Uh, quick video, 2020 Jetta GLI Autobahn with the Beats audio and the factory sub in the trunk. Let's upgrade this son of a bitch because it sounds like shit. So first off, I got the JL audio with the built-in amp and the built-in high-end cross high output crossover thing. Some people use an LCA2I XYZ or something like that. I don't know. Uh, to use a regular amp and subwoofer. I thought this was great because it was all built in. And the research I said or found said that it was pretty much just plug and play, which turns out it is. So this is like my two to three week review. I've been riding around bumping. It sounds great. It's not banging, but it is fucking banging. Um, so install was super easy. Basically, <clears throat> six wires. We got positive, negative, positive, negative, or vice versa. Um, color chart will be in the description. And then, or I will flash it in the video right here, give or take. Uh, positive, negative, or ground and power. Just tap right into here. I had to order like this little thing. No, I didn't have to order it. It comes with the sub, but I got the sub from my buddy and he forgot to give that to me. Um, so that comes with the sub, you just power, ground, positive, negative, positive, negative. And then these four wires, all they do is they just plug into your fucking <clears throat> baby back beats audio thing back here, which all I did was just snip this, just snap, snip, snapped, and then just tuck that in for the next guy. He can deal with that. And then here's the remainder of the wire. And you can see I just, I used different color wires because it was easier to run, but basically positive, negative, positive, negative, four wires, zip tie, <laughs> my amazing <laughs> wiring job here. Get the fucking roast me in the comments if you want, but I don't care, it works. So that's that, right? And that ties into here. There's a wiring diagram which says what goes where. And pretty easy, right there, four wires, bang, bang. And then four wires, bang, bang, and then ground and power. The ground took me a minute to figure out where I wanted to put it. You can see my power wire just running up all the way through the four boards over there. It was really easy. I didn't even have to take this section off. You can literally just pop this part out like a little bit, and then it's enough room to kind of tuck it. I got to push that back in. Uh, tuck it up through here nice and easy and then this just pulls right off shove it up in there run around through here and then for your ground for the ground wire i used this plug right here i mean this uh bolt right here so i went to the store i had the right size uh undid this guy boom knocked that out and then here's my ground wire See if I can get a better shot of that. Right there, right, the ground wire. And then I put this blue doohigger on and with a big circle. I, f I, th I forget what those are called, but the big circle thing. And then I just tucked it in underneath here, slid this guy back on and boom, we got a solid ground, right? And then the power running all the way around, all the way through there all the way through here just pop this guy up oh look at mine's mine's coming off on me no fuck it uh yep so just pop pop this guy off and then this guy was a pain in the ass to pop off so i didn't even pop it off what i did is i just put the ground wire on a coat hanger with some tape and shoved it up <laughs> just pulled this bag a little bit shoved it straight up or never mind like vice versa I went through the top and I just dropped the wire, dropped the wire with, with some clothes hanger and it just came right out the bottom. And so I just grabbed it and pulled it out and then tucked it in through here. Uh, it goes up in through the little grommet. If you pull back all that stuff, you'll see the grommet. I'm sure you can figure that one out on the line. It wasn't too hard. And then uh, ran the wire 
around the battery, around the back, because it goes in right down there. You can see it. it goes through the firewall right there. You just poke it through with a coat hanger and some tape, stuck to some tape, and then push it through, pull it up, grab it, pull it around. Well, vice versa. You're probably going the opposite way. You're probably coming from here, going that way. And then to here, there's my fuse and I screwed it down onto the plastic of the base of the battery station, a bobber down there. So it's nice and secure. One wire comes in here, one wire goes up there. And then I wrapped it with some black silicone or shrink wrap, just the top few inches right to the power. And that way when you stand back, you can't even fucking see it, boy. What about that engine cover? And what about that exhaust? I mean, intake. Fuck you guys. Sick. If you have any questions, hit me up. It was super easy. Peace.